This May, the ITER project marked a long-awaited milestone when the base section of the ITER cryostat was lifted into its final assembly position inside the tokamak pit. This spectacular move was the culmination of a technological and human adventure that began in August 2012 when ITER awarded the cryostat manufacturing contract to the world-renowned Larsen and Tubro of India. The 3,800-ton cryostat will surround the ITER vacuum vessel and the superconducting magnets, essentially insulating them like a giant thermos. Ranging from 50 to 250 millimeters thick, its cylindrical walls will be 30 meters in diameter and 30 meters in height, making the ITER cryostat the largest fully welded vacuum vessel ever made from stainless steel. More than 200 penetrations, some as large as 4 meters in size, will provide access to the vacuum vessel for cooling systems, magnet feeders, auxiliary heating, diagnostics, component replacement, and maintenance, all while large bellows allow for thermal contraction and expansion of the structure. Manufacturing of the individual segments of each cryostat section, 54 in total, has been completed at Larsen and Tubro's Hazira facility in India, and now nearly all have been delivered to the ITER worksite in France thanks to a partnership with global logistics provider Daher. In 2015, the first cryostat components were delivered on site to ITER India's cryostat workshop, and a year later the assembly and welding phase began with operators from another prestigious company, Mann Energy Solutions of Germany. Since then, thousands of visitors have come to witness the making of this unique industrial component, and soon the upper and lower cylinders of the cryostat will join the base in the tokamak pit, followed by the lid to seal it off. Today, as we flag off for delivery the final components of the lid, ITER celebrates the completion of cryostat manufacturing and turns to finish the challenge of assembly. This is what ITER's international collaboration is all about. Hard-working people around the world working as one ITER to achieve an ambitious and difficult task for the benefit of all humankind.